So there's a new mod in the Stalkerverse. It's called Alone in Windstorm, and it looks really unique. It is a sort of smash up between Metro 2033 and The Long Dark, but it's built on the X Ray Engine 1.6. Uh, 64 bit version that Anomaly runs in. It looks really neat. It's only in Russian. It's only a few days old and it's been, you know, really making its rounds on the Russian side of the internet, but it's barely leaked over to the English side. I wanted to give it a try, but when I managed to track it down, get it installed, and try to play it, I ran into some issues. And after a few days farting around on the Russian side of the net, talking to a lot of people, using a lot of Google Translate, I managed to find a solution, which is actually really simple, and I was asked to put together something to show people how to play it, and so here we go. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to vk.com slash alone in windstorm. This is the official site or the official VK group for the uh, devs that made this mod. Down here on this second page, there is a Google Drive link and there is a Yandex disk link. You can use these to get the game. There's also torrents out there if you prefer to torrent. Uh, I was not able to get it through Google Drive. When I tried, it said too many people had accessed it in too short of a period of time and it had throttled it. I don't know if that's normal Google procedure or if that's Russia bad from Google, but regardless, I managed to get it without any issues straight from Yandex disk. So click this, make an account, download it, and drop it wherever you prefer. I've just got it here in this games folder on my desktop. It's a little zip file here. Open her up, unpack it. And once it's unpacked, I'll show you how to get it actually running on your system. All right, about three minutes later, it's finishing up its unpack. And there it is. So you go in here, and the way that the mod author has said you should start the game is not with the exe file, but with this start user.bat. So run that bat file. You'll get this splash screen. And then typically the screen will go black and then crash to desktop. And that was the problem I was running into. Uh, and that's what took me about three days to figure out trolling around the Russian side of the net. So when you go into the logs, what you see is this fatal error. And what it does is it can't open a file, which is one of the map files, and you see it's showing all these question marks. The root of the issue is that English language computers can't read some of the files in the game because they have Cyrillic characters in the file names. Now the dev has promised to fix this in a later patch, but in the meantime, what you can do is go to Start, Settings, Time and Language, language, administrative language settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to teach our computer how to read Cyrillic. So go to change system locale, beta, use Unicode UTF-8, click that, say OK. You're going to need to restart your computer for this to work, but once your computer is rebooted, it'll be able to understand those Cyrillic characters in the game and it should work right out of the gate. All right, and we're back after rebooting. So we'll go back into our game file. Again, run start user bat. And this time the game should boot all the way up. And there we go. So once you're in here, there's a couple things you're going to need to do. Using Google Translate on my phone, I can see that this says new game and this is settings. So what you're going to want to do is go into settings. Okay, so in your settings, we have graphic, sound, and controls. So we're going to go into graphics. We have uh, your quality settings. 
your aspect ratio, gamma, contrast, brightness, and full screen. We're gonna hit this to get rid of the start bar. And we're going to go into advanced settings. This is your object details. We're gonna turn that up. Texture quality, filtering textures, uh, smoothing, and smoothing. So this is basically your anti-aliasing settings. This is sun shadow, grass shadow, shadow from the player. I'm gonna turn that on. Then we wanna go back and go back again. No, I'm sorry, not, that's cancel. We wanna hit apply, which is this one here. You'll get this pop up. You wanna say no, otherwise it will revert your settings back to default after 13 seconds. So we are done, I'm gonna go back and start a new game. This is story mode, and this is survival mode. So select whichever one you wanna do. Survival is more of a sandbox, and story, of course, has a storyline. So hit that, and there we go. Brand new game. Got the opening cinematic. And stalker players, since this is built in the X-ray engine, are going to recognize a lot of assets in this game. Like the cases behind this guy's head. Those are the loot boxes. The Mosin Nagant model. Um, the tower that these guys are in right now, even though you can't see it at the moment once we get into the game, is the watchtower from outside of uh, Yantar. So there you go, guys. That's how you get Alone in Windstorm. Get it running on a English language PC. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've only got like a few minutes of game time into it. But so far I've managed to freeze to death, be eaten by a wolf, and start a fire. So, you know, it, it, so far it seems good. I'm excited to try it out. Hopefully you guys have some fun with it. And good luck.